a video for Power Talk with Music and Voice in Windows Vista. First of all we need to right click on our speaker icon and we need to select recording devices. Up comes recording devices, that's the first tab we get on our screen if I can get it in the right place. Right, you'll notice here I have microphone, I have line in, I have auxiliary, I have a spidiff which is a digital thing you don't need and I have what you hear. Now, as again, as per the other video, what you hear is on some card stereo mix. So, what you hear is creative stereo mix is other cards, I guess. Right, not all of you may see this when you first launch this. So, basically, it hides it. So, you've got to right click and you've got to show disabled devices or show disconnected devices. And it may appear. If it doesn't appear, you've got problems. A lot of cards don't appear. And the, some drivers I have with this card, it wouldn't. it wouldn't it didn't seem to appear when I got it so I had to revert back to some older drivers and it did but it's a bit of a hit and miss one as is Vista but you've got to set this as default you see that it's set as my default one there and it says it's working etc from that I will go from there to properties there and that will give me my master volume there of that one there sorry levels which is quite high at the moment to make this video and that seems to work okay right that's fine. We've got that. We've got what you hear selected and it's our input. Now we go to playback and we click on our speakers tab. From our speakers tab there we go to properties and up box and another box. And from this one we go to levels and levels we've got the play control at the top which is our like our overall master volume there. And we come down we've got auxiliary and line in is muted but the little box means it's muted there. The little red thing means it's muted and we come down to microphone, this is my microphone here and as you can see it's fairly loud to make this recording MIDI and WAV at the bottom there would be for music obviously that's the way, that's your volume for your music there and you'll notice by this microphone there's no um, plus no boost, so I've got no option to boost the volume at all so let's take it or leave it really, I mean there is a bit of a hack you could do to the registry to actually, actually give you a boost but it's either on or off in the registry and I don't know whether I'll make a video on that, I don't really know. It's a bit risky, I suppose, for people to try. But that's how it works, and it does work. Well, good luck finding a sound card. And the other thing I will say while I'm here, I'll close that down. I know some people I've spoken to and looked at, they have what you hear on some cards, and when they enable it and set it as default, they have to reboot. And when they've rebooted, they can find when they go into the room, they can either play music or they can do a microphone, but they can't do both. Now, I don't know what it is, but it's only on cards that you... Hmm, correction, hmm, maybe someone can prove me wrong on this, maybe hope, let's hope they do. But for, for everyone I know who's actually tried that, and I had to reboot, they can't get both to work, both music and microphone at the same time. Now whether that's just the restriction of the pathetic little sound chip it's got or whatever, I don't really know. Maybe if anyone's got any ideas on that, I would be welcome to know. Anyway, that's the end of the video, nothing else really works, and just to prove that music does work, um, if I can find something, there we go, I'll play that there. Ooh, loud, isn't it? Sorry about that. Turn it down a bit, there we go. And it does work, as you can see. Both at the same time. And uh, that's right down, and up again. And we'll stop it. And that's the end of the video, which has gone rather a long time. I'm sorry it's not as good as the other one, but it was made in rather a hurry. And thank you for your time for watching. Goodbye for now.